All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be talking about how to solve with natural logs. Now, what is a natural log? Well, a natural log is a log with the base of E. E stands for Euler's number. Um, it shows up in nature when dealing with continuous growth. Um, so, um, so finance, finance, uh, it shows up in finance a lot. Um, it shows up in other places as well, but it's about 2.7 and we'll see a lot when we get to application problems. So, some log properties. Um, these are the same log properties we covered a while back, uh, but just with E and natural log. That's really it. Um, so natural log and E, obviously opposites. So if I take a natural log of E raised to a power, um, whatever's left over will remain. So just to throw some numbers instead of X at this, if I had natural log of E to the third, that would just equal three. Basically, whatever is right here is our answer. Same way, if I had E raised to the power of natural log of something, say five, then it would equal five. Again, whatever's inside our natural log is what comes out. Also, if I have natural log of something to a power, we can again move that exponent to the front and that would turn it into like five times natural log of three. So anything in the front, we can also move to the exponent. It can go back and forth. All right, so how can we solve something like this? Well, again, if I want to get rid of natural log, I use E. So that's what we'll use here. And what we'll have is we'll have X plus two equals E to the fourth. When we subtract two, we would have X equals E to the fourth minus two. That'll just be our answer. Uh, we could give it in decimal form, but this is a little bit simpler. Uh, rather than doing 2.7 blah, 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 to the fourth power, and subtracting two from that. All right, let's try this one. Again, what we're doing here is we are dealing with order of operations. We're going backwards, because we're trying to undo, we're trying to solve for this x. So addition, subtraction is what we're gonna do first. I wanna leave us with two times natural log of x equals 10. Then we'll divide by two. We want to get rid of the two in front. That would give us natural log of x equals 5. Raise it to the power of e, x equals e to the fifth. And that is our answer. So, what about if we have e to some power? Well, let's take a natural log of both sides. That would give us x plus 1 equals natural log of 4. Subtract 1, subtract 1, x would equal natural log of four minus one. And we'll just leave it like that, totally fine. All right, what about this? Again, we're dealing with order of operations, but backwards. So adding and subtracting come first. e to the two x equals seven. So let's take a natural log of both sides. And we would be left with 2x equals natural log of 7. And now just divide by 2. x equals natural log of 7 divided by 2. And that's it. Uh, and that's kind of all of our examples for today. Um, the worksheet that we're doing today should have some problems that are very similar to this. So if you have questions, feel free to ask, uh, send me a message, etc. So have a good one, y'all. Hope this helped a little bit.